What's going on, everybody? This is Josh McCarty and Stokes from Built in Buffalo. And today we are going to talk about Roger Saffold, the free agent offensive lineman for the Buffalo Bills, and whether or not the Bills should be looking to extend Saffold and bring him back for 2023. Stokes, I think there was a lot of optimism when the Bills brought in Roger Saffold to replace either John Feliciano or Daryl Williams, however you want to look at it. There was that connection with Eric Aaron Cromer. You felt like that Roger Saffold could be like another coach in the room, knowing the system and would really be an asset on the field. And you look at his last year in Tennessee and you saw, oh, Roger Saffold made the Pro Bowl. He's still playing at a pretty high level. Now, there was a lot of pushback from Titans fans saying that Pro Bowl is, is a little bit misleading because the play on the field didn't live up to it. And given the fact that Roger Saffold is now in the Pro Bowl this year, I think we can respect where Titans fans were coming from. Yeah, all right, guys, we get it. We, <laughs> we understand what you're saying now. Our apologies. Um, yeah, um, I mean, it, it felt like a, a, a good signing, um, just given the fact that he was on uh, a, a team that was dominant, rush, running the ball, and he was part of that core. And when we we just wanted upgrades in interior line, and, and that's where um, we felt it was it was a good idea. And you know, we saw we saw flashes here and there but uh, when when you go the last half of the season and you're noticing an offensive lineman that is not really good and that that's that's what happened with Sappho I noticed him far too many times now statistically he only gave up two sacks on the year which which is good because the Bills did get pressured and sacked quite a bit this year but PFF gave him a grade of 43.7 which is no other way around it is horrendous. And that is just one grading metric, but, you know, it's a neutral site. So, you know, there's no fandom involved in that. They rated him 74 out of 78 qualifying guards. So obviously that, that is less than ideal. <laughs> I guess the other 73 were busy that weekend. <laughs> um, he is going to be 35 years old. And look, I don't want to make fun too much of Roger Saffold. He has had a very solid career, but he was drafted back in 2011, 35 years old. Spot track says his market is about $5.4 million per year. And Stokes, I just have a hard time knowing what the bills are looking at with the cap, knowing how poor the offensive line looked. And to your point, knowing how often Roger Saffold stuck, stood out as the person responsible for a play going South. I don't see any reason why the Bills should be willing to meet that market price. Yeah, um, I mean, two giving up two sacks. I mean, just because Josh Allen scrambled away and didn't get sacked doesn't mean it was he 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 did his job. Um, but I, I feel like um, him as a player, like I, I believe he said it during the season. He he tweeted that he's going to do whatever he can to stay with this team uh, next year. So I could see if if um, if he decided that he wants to take a pay or not, maybe not a pay cut, but like some sort of below market deal he could be he could come back but it's not something that i would i would see on see on um on twitter and be like oh great i'd be like oh all right he's coming back um but i i just feel like adding or having age in in the interior and all, on the line it, it's good in some situations but when you're facing defensive lines as, as as athletic as we are facing in the division i don't know if that's a great thing yeah quinnon williams two times a year christian wilkins two times a year christian barmore two times a year and then when you talk about the teams that the bills are going to be facing if they ultimately do get to that super bowl you have chris jones you have dj reader the bills have to get better on the interior i don't think there's any scenario where the Bills should be penciling in roger saffold as a starter next year so what it comes down to for me stokes is the only way this marriage continues to go on with saffold is if he's basically willing to take a veteran minimum deal to stay in Buffalo as a backup. And even then I'm not hundred percent sold because it comes down to me of, would you rather use that roster spot on a player who is a known commodity? You know, he's going to struggle or are, should that spot go to what I think should be one or two mid even early investments on the offensive line. So even in that scenario where Roger Saffold doesn't cost a lot as veteran depth, unless it's just a, let's see if you can win a spot in camp. I just don't think I'm excited at all to see him continue his bills career. Yeah. And when you look at it from Saffold's point of view, 
I I wouldn't I couldn't see him agreeing to like a vet men or it earn your spot situation. If he's thirty five, he's he has done whatever what he needs to do to presumably secure his family's future. Um, I think he's going to go somewhere where he knows he's going to have the oper- the the best chance to start and uh, try to win a Super Bowl or whatever his aspirations are. I don't think um, he would come back in a, unless he knows he's got a starting position given his age. Um, and, I, and I just don't think that should be something that's given to him in Buffalo. And uh, for that reason, I don't I don't think he'll come back as much as he's as much as he said he's willing to do whatever it takes. That there's a certain line that even you as the player don't want to um, cross either. I'm with you, and I, I, it sounds like you and I are both on the same page that uh, Roger Saffold should probably not be a Buffalo Bill after free agency is over. Let us know in the comments what you think, though. Is there a reason why you think the Bills should keep Roger Saffold? Do you like the idea of bringing him back? even as a veteran backup to maybe an early round interior guard, the bills taken the draft and do not forget to like this video. It helps us out a lot when it comes to the analytics and please subscribe to built in Buffalo on YouTube and you'll get notifications every time we upload Buffalo bills content this off season for Stokes. This is Josh and we will see you next time on built in Buffalo quick hit.